Welcome back, everybody. I guess we got some more woke videos to watch today. I haven't seen them. These were sent to me. I'm watching them for the first time with you. So uh, who knows what craziness we're in store for. First one. Let's watch the first one. And a kid tells you that they're transgender, believe them. Already a lot creeped of out. Will say that it's impossible for a four year old. Why is it always people that don't have kids that are speaking for children? I'm trans and I've been a stepmother for the last two years. He's five now and has no idea that I'm transgender. He's not ready for that conversation and we don't plan to tell him for a very long time until he's old enough to understand. Five year old believes Santa Claus exists. And the fact you can sit there and tell me a three, four, five year old is mentally competent enough to transition is fuck. I don't know what happened to the sound. Oh, there it comes. Until I was an adult, because as a child, I would not have been mentally ready for how serious a transition is. What baffles me is that these radicals think that transitions are so normal and not a big deal. My stepson, for example, loves pink and loves Barbies. And trust me, I'm all for breaking gender norms, but none of that means that he's trans. These people think children must medically transition to be validated, but they want grown men to be validated, even without a transition whatsoever. My mind is being blown right now by the, like, common sense being spilled from this woman maybe i'm not sure but all the things that he or she is saying i, I are resonating i mean spot on wild it's not safe or morally ethical to allow children to transition let kids be kids Emphasis on the let kids be kids. As Eden said in the video, allow your child to express themselves, explore and see what they naturally align with without these external voices and influences trying to sway them in a certain direction. I agree with Eden. The idea of being trans should not be the immediate conclusion because say, for example, your son is more attracted to feminine things or vice versa. And the idea of transitioning should not even be introduced to a child until they're old enough to fully understand what that entails. And with a mature mind, weigh the positives, negatives, and see if it's something they actually wait want to, to say go my through piece. with. Eden, boo, you already know I love you. I love your minds and I have to say, girl, you are stunning. Everybody go follow Eden. I know you will love her content. I will go ahead and link her in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. All right. I mean, <laughs> that was surprisingly logical. I thought we were destroying woke people here. I thought I was going to watch videos of woke people. That was, neither of those people were woke. I will say though, the whole transitioning children thing might be the evilest thing to ever happen to humankind. I mean, it's, it's bad. So you're saying a trans man has the brain Matt of a woman? Walsh again, all right. No. I'm saying that a trans man who identifies as a man will tend to have similar brain structure that a cis man would. And where did you get that from? You mean a normal man? Look it up. I, it's okay. literally, I, I'm telling you I learned it from my anatomy class when I was I 16. All right, if somebody says, look it up, I mean, you've, the argument's basically over. They don't have any, they don't have anything to back it up. Look it up. Where are you getting that from? Look it up. What, you can't, you can't name the source of the article. You can't say, oh, it was a study that was done by this person. It's pathetic. And I looked up the fact before I walked up here because I knew that you'd ask. Okay. Um, that's oh, you looked it up before you walked up there. Not true, huh? but it also doesn't answer the question. So let, let's try to stay focused on one <laughs> false claim at a time if we can, so we, get, we might get bogged down. Okay. So you said, you actually started by saying that blocking puberty, which is chemical castration of a child. Which is, Just one example, yeah. Yeah, is life-saving. It can be. How do you know? Because there are children who have been suicidal that have had these interventions made what children how do you how do you know and how, how many children have had that done me personally, and then I are haven't still suicidal children. Uh, me personally i haven't met enough trans children to answer that question you, okay but i know you that are the making, research exists you're making this statement you're stating it as a fact in front of all these people <laughs> there must be a reason there must be something that you encountered that that led you to this rather radical conclusion that to save a child's life you have to chemically yeah. castrate them not Lupron, every child. no sir Okay, well, that is what you just said. The drugs we give to kids for, for puberty blockers, so-called puberty blockers, originally are, are cancer drugs used to treat prostate cancer. They're also used to chemically castrate sex offenders and child rapists. Now we give them to physically healthy kids. We should You're do that You're saying that we need to do that or they will die. And so one last time I'm going to ask you, what evidence do you have of that remarkable claim? I don't think I claimed that every child would 
benefit from that. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't say you did. Uh, okay. You said puberty yeah, blockers yeah, are yeah. good. Uh, you said puberty blockers are life saving. What evidence I said do you have they, for that? They can be. Um, so, the evidence you know? is the encounters with patients who have had What's these the procedures evidence done, that they can and it has be? saved their. I feel like I don't I'm taking crazy lives, But it has made their lives better. I can't confirm whether or not they're alive right this second, but there are children that it has helped. So what do you have to say for the happy? I am literally losing brain brain cells watching this. I'm I'm getting dumber by the second. By the end of this video, I'll have an IQ that's the same as hers. I'm convinced of it. Trans community who has benefited from these procedures. That's my well, question. I guess what for I have you. to say is that your entire question is Happy built on a whole community? stack of false premises that you, that you can't begin to even remotely defend. So uh, I, it's it is a it's a faulty question from the start. I, I reject your premise. I, I absolutely reject mm -hmm. that there are any kids who need to be chemically castrated in order to be happy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's. I reject that. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Plus, once they become trans, they kill themselves anyway, right? I mean, isn't that the deal? Like, trans people commit suicide at a much higher rate than any other group? Oh, it's because people don't accept them. Uh-huh. No, I'm not buying that. It's because they're mentally ill. How does one know that someone with the total physical appearance of a man, how can one know that that person really is a woman? Do you have an answer to that question? So my, my response to you is then a question of what is the purpose of knowing another person's sexual, I well, sexual see, there, there identity you are. or purpose? So you ask me, why do you even care? What's the purpose of knowing what? someone's biological sex? Well, for starters, because we have civil rights specifically for women in the United States. We have special bathrooms for women. We have special mm -hmm. sports leagues for women. We have all sorts of special places and rights and privileges that are for women that are not for men. So if now some men, people who at the very least appear to be men, are claiming a right to go into those women's bathrooms, then we either have to abolish all of the special rights and privileges that have existed for women for all of human history and are enshrined in our law, or they need to explain to me how those men are actually women. And they can't do the latter, and I'm not willing to do the former, and I don't think women across this country are willing to do the former, <laughs> even if a few people have been so ideologically blinded that they would give in to this kind of an absurdity. You know, I, I feel like I'm not needed here. I feel like these people are owning these Wokies so, so good. That I don't have much to add. These people who are commenting, who are watching the videos of, they're much smarter than I am. I, I literally have nothing to add to that one. How do you say that some people don't have the privilege when you basically just said that trans people aren't valid? They're not a thing. They're just girls pretending to be boys or boys pretending to be girls. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I was excited. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's Ben again. Ben Shapiro. Here we go. No, gender is not disconnected from sex. So. It's not completely disconnected, but it's still a cultural thing. Okay. It's still from society. Okay. No, it is. I'm pausing to jump in and say that only recently have they come up with this concept that sex and gender are two different things. Gender literally used to mean sex. They've changed the meaning of the word. They've changed the definition of the word. So now they say, oh no, gender's not sex. Gender's on a spectrum. But I bet if you ask them how many sexes are there, they'd still give you the same rambling incoherent answer, right? Oh, well. If gender is a spectrum, then how can one sex become the other sex? I mean, it's just, it, nothing about the argument is coherent. Not in the mind, okay? I'll you're get not it a down. Man if you think you're a man. And I didn't say pretending, or if I did, I shouldn't have said pretending. Let me amend. Correct. Okay, I said a boy who thinks he's a girl. That's the usual phraseology I use. Not playing. I usually say a boy who thinks he's a girl or a girl who thinks he's a boy, which is technically what we're talking about here. As far as the actual psychological issues at play, it used to be called gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder, now they call it gender dysphoria. The idea that, that sex or gender are malleable is not true. Okay, and I'm not denying your humanity if you are a transgender person. I am saying Fact. that you are not the sex to which you claim to be. You're still a human being, and you're a human being with an issue that I'm exactly. you know, I Godspeed in, in dealing with in whatever way you see fit. But if you are going to dictate to me that I'm supposed to pretend, I'm supposed to pretend, that men are women and women are men, no. My answer is no. I'm not going to, I'm not going to modify basic biology because it threatens your subjective sense of Preach what it, you man. are. Must be Preach a biological it. boy to be a Boy Scout. You have to be a boy to be a Boy Scout. In the name Boy Scouts. It's in the name. <laughs> Dude, that's the crazy thing though, is, is 
they will never be what they want to be. A woman who thinks she's a man, who goes through a transition, she can go through all the she can go through all the surgery. You're never going to be the other sex. Even if everybody says that you are, everybody you know in your life affirms or whatever that you are. Even if people say, oh yeah, you look like a, a man, you look like a woman, whatever. You will never ever truly be the other sex. And I think that's why that's part of why the 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 transitioning the children and and instilling the gender ideology onto children is so evil because you're you're giving them this false hope that if you just believe hard enough and if you just, you know, get the surgery that oh, you will actually be the other sex and it's not true. And it's it's heartbreaking really that that some of these kids go through this. Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Now you can call your Wow, hell of an opener. Straight, but trans men do menstruate. No, Same they as don't. non-binary people. That's only a dude. Menstruating is not exclusive yes, to cis women. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So explain you're, to me. No, that's a woman. I don't, I don't know, know actually. If your chromosomes <laughs> are XX and you're young, you menstruate. No. If you're XY, you don't. Correct, but what about trans men and non-binary people? Correct. Men? That is not true. You can suppress nope. this. The gender expression <laughs> no, is different. True. Gender All expression of science depends on this guy is not having any of it. He is he is so done with all of this BS. You can just tell. The last, all the science for the last 100 years has shown in boys who, who experience gender dysphoria between two and three, 85% of them simply grow up to be gay. Oh, I love that you're saying that. And the other five, exactly don't interrupt, don't interrupt, this is, this interrupt is, and be rude. I will. The other five you don't percent think that's missing an entire group of people being rude. And then there are one or two percent the transgender dysphoria persists into adulthood. At the age of four. That's a lot of technical things I don't really care about. There's two different arguments, right? Should we should we allow adults to transition? Def, I mean, I I don't see how the argument you can make for kids, but regardless, I don't even think we should be doing it to adults. It's the only disease, condition, whatever, where the treatment is enabling. <laughs> Basically, that's crazy. All right, next video. A trans woman is a woman. How do I know if, if I'm a woman? No. Oh, Matt, yeah. I've seen this. So how do I know? Yeah, Matt, that question right there, like <laughs> that question is- Oh, Matt, like, Matt that question right there is super important. Right, that's the beginning of a lot of people's like gender identity development journeys. If my mom who gave birth to me is a woman, mm -hmm. and my wife is a woman, um, though I haven't asked her, maybe I should. Um, <laughs> but if they're all women, and also the boy who sits down with you and says, I, I think I'm a girl, actually is one then then what is a woman mm. yeah. that is the question i love how she thinks it's like being philosophical she's like mm, indeed and he, he like actually wants an answer out of it and she's just like mm, yes yeah matt that's a, that's a good question <laughs> oh my god all right how can this get any better we're on to the last one what is a woman? Can uh, you tell me what a woman is? No, I can't. Not Because that, it's not dude. for me to say. Womanhood looks different for everybody. God. What do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Someone with, with female reproductive organs. When you're female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. So that's why if someone dies, we could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their that head, but we can tell what sex they were because it's, in, yep. it's in, in, ingrained in every fiber of their being. What happens if we have Maybe someone who is female, maybe doesn't have the ability to reproduce. Maybe doesn't have those organs that you're talking about what, that are what? reproductive organs. I do not define what a woman is because I do not identify that as that a woman. Happens. Womanhood is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people who identify no, as not. a woman. Each no, person is going to have a different relation with their own gender identity. Those and so trans women that. are women too. You, what you want to do is appropriate women yeah. and turn it into basically a costume that can be worn. Yes, thank you. That's the thing. It's like, how, how did these men win woman of the year? Like Bruce Jenner? The dude was a dude. 
And then he won Woman of the Year. Are we just saying that men are better at being women than women are? I mean, what in the world? Is that it? Oh, that's all of them. All right. Well, uh, I, I feel like those people got sufficiently owned. That was that was some sufficient ownage on uh, on the Wokies. Hard to go wrong with Matt Walsh and, and Ben Shapiro, two very highly intelligent people who are uh, highly adept at, at owning the Wokies. Better than I could ever. I don't have the patience for it. I don't have the patience to stand there like Matt Walsh and listen to the bullshit question. I, I'd, I'd be out so fast. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time in Clown World.